Hi everyone, and welcome to Bluebeam Review. My name is Ari, and I'm a Bluebeam Certified Instructor with Digital Drafting Systems. Today, we're going to be going over the new features in Review 20's Studio, Projects, and Sessions. To access Bluebeam Studio, we just need to click on this icon right here. It looks like a house with a door. Now, since I've already signed into Bluebeam Studio before, it's going to automatically sign me in, and which, whether I was in Projects or Sessions, it'll leave me off on that tab. I'm going to sign out by clicking on the Studio dropdown, and I'm going to show you what it's like if this is your first time using Studio. Now I can choose my region before signing in, and while I'm signed in, I can also change my region. If my region isn't on this list, I can go to Manage Servers and find my server. I'm going to click Sign In. It's now going to ask me to sign in, but if I haven't made an account before, I can go to Create Account, input all of the information, and click on Create Account. This is free. People do not need to own Bluebeam Review in order to do this, and this is a great way to introduce people to Bluebeam Review because if your clients are invited to a studio session, they can use all of the features in Review Standard in the studio session, and they don't need to own Review in order to do so. I'm now going to input my password, and I'm going to keep myself signed in. All right, and now I can tell that I'm signed in by looking at this icon right here. So far, nothing has really changed from the regular sign-in process in previous versions of Review. I'm using Review 20 right now. So, now that I've signed in, I can go and click on the Studio button. Here is where I can manage my servers. And you might notice that something is a little bit different about this. Now we can see a Joined tab and Not Joined tab. And what this means is that I've already double-clicked and gone into all of these projects. And if I go to Not Joined, I don't have anything on this list, which means that nobody has invited me to a project that I have not accessed before. I'm going to click on my Sessions icon right here. And now we can see that under Joined, I have four sessions, but under Not Joined, there's one session. I was invited to this session by my colleague Alex, and I have not double-clicked on it and joined it yet. I did this on purpose in order to show you that if somebody invites you to a project or session, you don't need to find the email and click on the invitation link. Instead, as soon as they invite you, it takes about five or 10 seconds and the session or project will be under the Not Joined tab and you can access it whenever you want to. This is really a great feature and now it's streamlined the invitation process. And so we're going to go to Join. I'm going to join one of the sessions that I've created, this session for presentations. We can go and we can click on the Invite button right here. This invitation interface has changed dramatically in Review 20. Now we have many different ways of inviting people to our session or project. We can click on the three dots right here. And we can copy the session invitation and put it in an email like we've done in previous versions. Or we can type or paste emails right here by clicking on this function. And we can literally just start typing emails. It gives us explicit instructions on how to make sure that the emails go through correctly. And there's several different ways of doing this. We can have spaces in between our emails. We can have these little um, greater than or equal to signs next to our emails. And we can also put semicolons at the end to separate emails. And so it even says down here that Bluebeam will only take the emails and remove extra characters. It's quite intuitive. I'm going to click on back. And now if I already created a group of people that I've added to sessions and projects before, I can add emails from that group. And that way, if my entire company is already used studio projects and sessions, I don't have to add all their emails individually. I can just add them via a group. Then I can use the address book and this will connect to whatever default email program you have. I use Outlook, so it's going to open Outlook and show a list of all the different emails on my address book. Also, before finishing the invitation process, you can add a message at the end and you can give explicit instructions to your clients when inviting them to a studio project or session. And so basically that's what's new with studio sessions. Besides that, the functions within studio sessions and projects are relatively similar. And the invitation process for projects is also the same. I'm going to go into it just to show you guys. So projects is now open. I can now go to my project settings and I can go to user access and I can basically make sure that I can restrict users, which means that only people with email addresses on this list can join. And even if they know the nine digit code of my project, they can't join it. Now to add people to a project, we're going to close out of our um, local file. 
all we need to do is click on the invite button right here and you'll see that this invitation process is exactly the same as it is in Studio Sessions. Thank you very much for watching our tutorial. I hope this helps you transition to Review 20. Once again, my name is Ari Retman, and I'm a Bluebeam Certified Instructor with Digital Drafting Systems. I hope you have a great rest of your day.